change the channel and this is Debunk This. A show for debunkers and deniers to do their thing. As well as for the choir to have some reference points. So many people find it hard to believe that we're being poisoned. Tested on, lied to, the plans are documented to control and contain us as well as kill us by the powers that be. That there are such things as the New World Order, chemtrails, weather warfare, mind control, withheld medicines and technologies, that indeed conspiracies exist. And not that everyone who speaks of it is a nut job or you're going to have to call yourself a nut job. Because whether it's O.J. Simpson, Michael Jackson, or 9-11, everyone speaks of conspiracies no matter which side of the fence you reside. This show isn't going to be about why they do what they do. It's going to be about the fact that it has and is being done, therefore exists, plain and simple. This won't be a show covering hours worth of evidence. We'll focus on a few elements and keep it simple and to the point so that there's no confusion. All links will be provided in the video description and I strongly suggest before saying there's nothing to debunk as your only line of defense that it's better to remain silent and thought of food and open one's mouth and remove all doubt. In short, look at what's being presented, click the links, and if the information is incorrect present your evidence to counter and debunk this let's start off with the terminology of what we're going to be talking about weather modification modification is the action of modifying something in this case it would be the weather weather weapon a weapon is a thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage figuratively it's a means of gaining an advantage or defending oneself in a conflict or contest Weather warfare. Warfare is an engagement in or the activities involved in war or conflict. Weather modification, weather weapons, and weather warfare is nothing new for people who have kept up with history. These things are openly admitted by the powers that be as well as denied at other times. Even though these things are easily proven, some people deny our extremists. Refuse to even take a look at the proof and think that anyone who brings it up is a space cadet. Oh great, another brilliant idea from the peanut gallery. Guys, why can't you find something productive to do? Sheesh. I honestly believe these idiots want us to believe that they have such powers to control nature like that. That's called Mother Nature, you freaking paranoid buffoon. LMAO. You can't control weather. This is funny. Being an Air Force weatherman, this is BS. LMAO. <laughs> I was experimenting with vibrations. I had one of my machines going and I wanted to see if I could get it in tune with the vibrations of the building. I put it up notch after notch. Suddenly, all the heavy machinery in the place was flying around. I grabbed a hammer and broke the machine. Outside in the streets, there was pandemonium. The police and ambulance arrived. We told the police it must have been an earthquake. I told my assistants to say nothing. Yes, I saw the Mythbusters episode on, on this where they supposedly busted the myth by building a couple of machines, of course not exactly by the patent, and they didn't work. Now another guest on the show built one of the machines and produced a rhythmic vibration over 100 feet from its location resembling a semi-truck that was going by constantly. Nevertheless, they say they disproved the myth. Now, Tesla's original earthquake machine, as it was dubbed, was made over 100 years ago. 100 years ago. And that's why I'm bringing it up. It's something to keep in mind for the rest of this episode. Project Cyrus, 1947, was the first attempt to modify a hurricane. It was a collaboration of the General Electric Corporation, the U.S. Army Signal Corps, the Office of Naval Research, and the U.S. Air Force. An airplane flew along the rain bands of a hurricane and dropped nearly 36 kilograms of crushed dry ice into the clouds. The crew reported, pronounced modifications of the cloud deck seeded. Next, the hurricane changed direction to make landfall near Savannah, Georgia. The public blamed the seeding and claimed that the reversal had been caused by human intervention. Operation Cumulus was a project of the UK government in the 1950s which was investigating weather manipulation and particularly through seed cloud experiments. The project was operational between 1949 and 1952. The military were controlling the weather for several reasons. As detailed in the minutes of the Air Ministry meeting held on the 3rd of November 1953, they included bogging down enemy movement, incrementing the water flow and rivers and streams to hinder or stop enemy crossings, clearing fog from airfields,
Project Prime Argus was a series of nuclear weapons tests at high altitude to create an artificial radiation belt in Earth's atmosphere. This went on from August and September 1958. The first seeding experiment since the SARS disaster in the U.S. was attempted on September 16, 1961, into Hurricane Esther by the NHRP and the United States Navy aircraft. Eight cylinders of silver iodide were dropped into Esther's eye wall, and winds were recorded as weakening by 10%. The seedings into Hurricane Esther led to the establishment of Project Storm Fury in 1962. Operation Popeye, Project Popeye, Multiple Intermediary Compatriot, was a U.S. military cloud seeding operation running from March 20, 1967 until July 5, 1972, during the Vietnam War to extend the monsoon season over Laos, specifically areas of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. The operation seeded clouds with silver iodide, resulting in the targeted area seeing an extension of the monsoon period an average of 30 to 45 days. The Joint Chiefs of Staff had been wishing for quite some time in, in terms of years, that they had some way of, of flowing, flowing the truck down in Vietnam. That led me to advise the Joint Chiefs of Staff that we had a potential weapon system. And so I was, uh, I was asked to uh, start to put together a top secret operation to go to, to Vietnam to see if we couldn't make it rain more over there as a, as a military operation. All the roads over there were uh, dirt roads, and uh, when it rained, it caused them a lot of problems. So that during the monsoon season, there was so much rain and water in the roads that uh, the trucks really couldn't move very freely. Our mission was to make it rain. In a DOD news briefing, the Secretary of Defense states on April 28, 1997 that others are engaged in even in an eco-type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes, volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are working, finding ways in which that they can wreak terror upon other nations. It's real, and that's the reason why we have to intensify our efforts, and that's why this is so important. Now, the UK and the US isn't the only countries out there that have been working on this. We've seen in the news about Russia and as well as China. Now, I know that people would like for me to go into heart or would like me to go over the endless patents regarding this, but I'm not. I think at this point we can conclude by what's already been presented that A weather modification exists b weather weapons exists c weather warfare exists now debunk that anyhow i'm changed the channel and this has been debunk this catch me next time when we'll go over something else it's just gonna cook the cans of the deniers and the debunkers out there i'll catch y'all next time and i'm out